عن ام عمر رضي الله عنهما قال فرض رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم زكاة الفطر صاعا من تمر او صاعا من شعير على العبد والحر والذكر والانثى والكبير والصغير من المسلمين Ibn Umar radiallahu anhumah said that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam have declared that it is essential to pay zakat al-fitr with one sa' of tamar or one sa' of bali for every Muslim, be it that the Muslim is a free man or a slave, a male or a female, a young man or an old man. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya'i wal mursalin Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Regarding this issue Our Islamic scholars Amongst them Shia Ali Jum'ah Have given a fatwa That it is permissible To use or uh, to give up Zakat al-Fitr in a form of money So for example We in Singapore Firstly, we have to know what is our staple food. Our staple food for most of us is rice. So we have to take one sort of rice. So what is one sort of rice? One sort, the measurement of one sort is 2.5 kilograms. So we take 2.5 kilograms of rice, its price or its amount, and we give it up as a cattle fitter. We can even choose, if we are able to do so, to take a higher quality of rice, for example, basmati rice. So we take the higher quality, the higher price or the higher the higher amount and we give it out as zakat al-fatr. But we must bear in mind that we cannot choose a quality of rice that is uh, not our daily consumption. So we cannot give it cheaper or something that is below our grade that we usually consume on our basic daily life. Regarding when we give up Zakat al-Fitr in Mazhab al-Shafi'i, we can give up Zakat al-Fitr anywhere during the month of Ramadan. Hmm. But the best time to give up Zakat al-Fitr is on the day of Eid al-Fitr before the prayers. And in Mazhab al-Shafi'i, we can even give it out after uh, the prayer of Eid al-Fitr. But the period uh, ends before Maghrib or before the end of first shawal, the day of first shawal, that is before Maghrib. When Maghrib comes, those who haven't paid Zakat al-Fitr must pay, even after Maghrib, after Anshad, they must quickly pay. But it will be a sin for them, but they also must pay, because uh, that is what is obligated upon them. Zakat al-Fitr is compulsory upon every Muslim with two conditions. The first condition is that he has within his possession the required amount to give up zakat al-fitr. That is 2.5 kilograms of your staple food or the equivalent amount. The second condition is that he has in possession this amount on the night of Eid al-fitr and on Eid al-fitr itself. And this amount he has an excess of it. An excess of it uh, for himself or people that are dependent upon him that is for example his wife or his children so if I give you an example uh, a man he has a wife and two children so the zakat is about 10 kilograms of rice so he has within his possession 15 kilograms of rice on the first day of Eid al-Fitr it is obligatory upon him to give up zakat al-Fitr but if he if he has within his uh, possession only 9 kilograms of uh, rice so it is not obligated or compulsory upon him to give up zakat al-fitr and even though 
the first man he has only 15 kilograms of al fatal it is obligatory upon him to give out zakat of fatal even though it is not enough for him to feed his family on the second day or the third day or the fourth day it won't matter because on the first day of al fatal he has the required amount so it is obligatory upon him and compulsory upon him to give up zakat of fatal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purify our wealth and our soul by giving up zakat of fatal. Wallahu alam bi sawab. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.